the day's other big stories, starting with, uh, excuse me, that is a big close-up of my mouth, but listen to this. A sweet treat is making a comeback. After the break, when you can get your hands on some Nico, Neko, excuse me, wafers. Be hurt by the pandemic, can start applying for a state grant today. I'll tell you what they're doing to keep you safe. Coming up next. For your mowing forecast today, it is not going to be 6,177 degrees at 10 a.m. I will tell you that much, but it will likely be close to, I think I am was trying to say 77 there. Tomorrow, state leaders are expected to meet with schools and provide suggestions on how to plan for school this coming fall. Education reporter Wayne Carter tells us doctors are weighing into the conversation now with advice they think is important for schools to follow. Aquí mi reporte del pronóstico del tiempo. Me dio muchísimo gusto poder acompañarlos. Yo los espero hasta el día de mañana. Buenas tardes. Abuelos. Bien, vamos a continuar con más. Oh, well, yeah, speaking of a bag of pee, here's Chris with the weather. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you drew that conclusion, not us. Chris. I'm getting called to the corner office. <laughs> All right. Summer thunderstorms, they really do tend to bring in some pretty dynamic weather to the area. So, so oh, oh my goodness. You know that. <laughs> wow. What is happening? What right is now, this? Matt? Okay, well, let's go ahead and, you know, do a little something there. All right, 71 degrees, wow. mostly cloudy skies. I don't know what that was all about. I bit my lip really bad. It's not, now it's bleeding. Ugh. Did you, like, just bite your lip? Or? I do it when I'm stressed. Ugh. More pools and gyms reopening. Sorry, let me do that again. I can't talk because I'm not that bleeding in my lip. Whoa. Oh, well, this is exciting. Uh-oh. Hold on a quick second. Just, just shut it off and turn it back on again. <laughs> just press that. You just cr See, this control is, delete. Yeah, you leave the extension cords lying around all over yeah. the place. One person trips, and we're there we back. go, and we're back. Sorry. Let there be light. Uh, I'm and those details have yet to be released. And happening, coming up, we'll tell you. Uh, more states reopening. What this means for sports looking to return. Silicon, we'll tell you what this will be the new norm for sports fans. Well, speaking of today, Aaron, things are going to be kind of like a repeat of yesterday, yeah. huh? Well, I'm just trying to keep that same, that, that tone You're going. You're to distract us You got the, the blue <laughs> out there because the heat is everywhere. You don't want to stand outside because you'd be sweating on the inside. You got temperatures around 100 to 106 today, but that's extended. Look out, my friend, it's coming to Saturday, 104. That's the story. That's where we're headed. I mean, that's a bluesy forecast, right? All right, top hour tracking. We're going to see if these moves at all this morning. Three, two, one. Well, that message was directed to any non-compliant restaurants or bars across our states. You chilling, Beast? That's what I thought. We'll let you hear more from that news conference coming up in our next half hour. Jessica Alpern, Fox 4, in your corner. <laughs> yeah! Just hold it right there. You got like it? this? Yep. Just like, just like this. Just like it. this. Yeah, so it's going not going to bite me. Nope. Hold, don't let go. Do I have to touch that part too? Yeah, hold it, hold it, hold it. Oh, I can't hold, do it. Hold it. It feels, it's just oh, like, it's it's <laughs> Okay, okay. Go. go, go. Oh, it's moving, it's moving. Okay. okay. Since it's hard to determine which snakes... Okay. <laughs> it did something with his throat. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Ah, well, gonna, it's it's going to squeeze me to death. <laughs> Is it going to squeeze? It's it's Okay, okay, okay. 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 Sorry guys. <laughs> All right, here goes. I haven't thrown a ball in many years, so let's see. Ready? That was great. That was good? That was great. Okay, throw back. Let's see if I can okay. catch. I don't know. Let's. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm down. It's fine. We're good. <laughs> Either way. <laughs> I better practice some more. <laughs> Do they have safety gear for you, Janella? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I need more safety gear. <laughs> okay, this is why I don't play sports.
<laughs> oh, thank you for sacrificing your body for this show. We appreciate it. <laughs> But let's take a look at our sky cams around the area. Plenty of sunshine here. Coos Bay, a beautiful sight as you work your way into Florence. Also looking at plenty of sunshine. And then this, this box is going to get small, smaller and smaller. And it's totally my fault. But again... <laughs> oh my goodness. It's my fault. But yes, of course, uh, you can <laughs> even see you chain there. All right. Oh my goodness. I will put myself together. I know. Live TV. Thank goodness our forecast is great. We do <laughs> some more temperatures, low 60s along the coast right now. 70s across the mountain passes. Low 80s for those of you in the Willamette Valley. We will see an increase in clouds as we head into both of those days. I can't stop thinking about it. Hey, Anthony, Anthony? you're on TV. Anthony, how's it going, buddy? Mm -mm, he can't hear us. Hello? Right, so that is the... That is the that is the, 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 the elephant. elephant. Oh, he thinks he's on TV right now. Hey, can anyone reach Anthony? Okay, they're telling him now. You can see the expression on his face. So what had he's happened was something. Anthony Sabella thought he was on TV. Uh-huh, now he's turning on his microphone. This is a fascinating play-by-play. -play. He's tested now. Uh, can y'all tell him he's on television at this moment while we're trying to work through this? Are we just going to come back to him? piece got messed up. Oh, oh there he is. We're good. Okay, cool. Let's hey. start from the beginning here. Hey, it's Friday. We're going to leave you with some cuteness in the morning. In Crimea, uh, a goat has adopted a baby deer. Oh, my oh, goodness. Oh, there's a nice shot to open with. <laughs> I'll have to have a chat with our editors about that one. <laughs> oh, dear. Now, okay. Oh, dear, I'm indeed. <laughs> Crimea River is what I say. I'm sure this, uh, I'm sure pet deers have hey, they're uh, you know, happened okay. before, but this is uh, a first for me. <laughs> yes, right. And they've named the little fawn Silverhoof after a Russian <laughs> fairy tale character. And uh, they are, uh, don't, don't do it again, please, no. <laughs> You've had enough, all right? It's going for it again. All right, that's enough. We're closing out the show. Oh, my goodness, it's really cute, though. It looks like a little Bambi. We've got some editors in training this week. Yeah, back to you. Okay, well, uh, we'll throw a break. Michael has a final look at weather coming up. <laughs> Stay with us. <laughs> Well, athletes are finding new ways to stay in shape with the uh, 2020 Olympics postponed until 2021 because of the uh, pandemic. A canoe racer from Argentina uh, chose to train in his girlfriend's swimming pool. Uh, he keeps his canoe strapped to a pair of palm trees while he paddles vigorously there in the water. <laughs> paddles vigorously there in the water. Um, Eden, I know you like to go kayaking. Is this what you're going to what is going on this morning? I'm I'm in what tears. Was that? I turn over this way. Sheldon cracks me up. I look over there. Lindsay is just losing it. I mean, the, we need Adrian to come back tomorrow, yes, okay? Because we're keeps, just she keeps this train on the tracks. She does. Lindsay, save us from ourselves. I wasn't expecting that, Lindsay. No. I, just, I, I didn't see that coming. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's real <laughs> okay. excited about. It. Oh man, this always happens right before weather, doesn't it? Time they showed their lion Asha having fun with a smelly ball. The smelly ball, you ask? Well, keepers say the oldest and smelliest perfume seem to be the lion's favorites. They also say cat owners might recognize the mouth open and tongue out maneuver that cats, both big and small, use to smell the air. Yeah, when my cat's at home and yawns and starts smelling, doesn't look nearly as frightening as a 500 pound lion doing that. Damn at the fun. Rich, yeah. you got any smelly balls for your cats? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> to play with. No, so ask me later in the week after it gets hot and muggy. <laughs> Let's take you hour by hour future cast. As we head into Saturday and Sunday, you can see we got some decent weather out there. But well, we may see a shower or storm coming in later Sunday and the Monday. That's where we'll have a chance for a little bit of rain as we go towards the end of the weekend. And Brendan, Brendan can't keep a straight face. Anyway, 90 on Friday, going to be sunny and hot. So we get the heat coming as we go towards the end of the week. Saturday, just a slight chance of a shower. Might be a storm by Sunday. Of course, Sunday is Father's Day. Want to keep an eye out for that. It'll be warm and muggy with a chance of a shower or storm by the end of the weekend with temperatures in the 80s. Nikki? Not what I meant. 
That's not what I meant. <laughs> okay. And we'll have a complete report of all the damages, the power outages, and the forecast for the weekend coming up on News Channel 3 at 4 o'clock. Please join us then. You are a prince, sir. A prince. Thank you. Hey, uh, stand by. We could be on the air wall to wall again in just a few minutes. You're good. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I, could we get a little a gin in that water? A little whiskey in that water? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, <I'm sorry. laughs> Where's the margarita machine when you need it? You let it cut for Let it cut, 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 let it cut